Okay guys, let's take a look at the Resurrection Remix from for the S4 and it's not that impressive. Let's get into it. Now starting off uh, with the user interface, you cannot tell it apart from the CN13 at all. But it has way more bugs such as the SIM card does not work and uh, when flashing the ROM the device does not boot with the SD card in but after that it does work but yeah you cannot boot with it inside your phone and uh, also as you can see the speed is pretty good but I think the CM13 speed is even better than this and uh, it is kind of uh, well optimized but it is based on the gear CM so I think it isn't much better and as you can see it looks the uh, same in the notification panel but uh, the settings look a little different like it has a bolder font but that doesn't do much it has a theme chooser in the personalization option that's basically the cyanogen mod themes but the configuration tab has much much more options you can customize everything in the swarm as i'm showing you in the screen from the status bar to the buttons to the recent apps even that is not customizable as of uh, i know in any other s4 ROM. as you can see i can customize it to the fullest as much as i want and that is a great thing but again the bugs i think outweigh this advantage but uh, you can see on the screen i can add a lock screen blur effect that looks quite nice in my opinion and also i can set animations even for the toast and that is something that you can't do with any other rom as you can see over here the list view animation i have changed and the toast animation and that looks quite nice and also you can go into gestures and just uh, enable app sidebar that sometimes work and the app circle bar that sometimes work as i'm showing you over here i'm trying my best but they are just not showing up either i'm doing it wrong but i don't think i am so as you can see over here it has updates section that means it supports ota updates that is really nice and you get uh, so much options under miscellaneous as well as you can see i got the sidebars to work and it's basically just a set of three buttons and an app launcher and it also comes with a kernel auditor and some goodies but i don't think so you should get this wrong well, what do i think of uh, this resurrection remix rom it basically sucks but that's not it as you saw it doesn't support the sim card you can't put the sd card in and there are a host of other bugs that you will not find in the cm13 and i recommend that over this unless you need a fast working phone that is kind of well optimized just like the cm13 and has just crazy customization options it's your choice either you want a working phone or a customizable brick the phone because boom chakalaka no signal so that's been it guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace and high five